Let's get on to a story we've been covering extensively on this show, as we said yesterday, and that's this, the plans to move hundreds of migrants into a new block of luxury flats in Farnborough. Locals have been peacefully protesting now for more than a month. And to discuss this case in depth and to see where we are, I'm now joined by local councillor Marina Munro. Marina, welcome to the show. So 300 luxury flats in Farnborough were being given to asylum seekers. Locals were very disconcerted about this. They peacefully protested. They contacted and involved the local M MP, Leo Doggerty. A survey was conducted. 91% of people were against it. And can you conclude, can you confirm to us, Marina, that this development will stop? Oh, thank you very much for having me on your program. Um, I am the councillor for Empress Ward of the area, um, and we did take all these concerns the residents have um, in the local area to our MP, and with the assistance of the leader of Rushmore, Gareth Lyon, um, they kindly went to see the Home Secretary, um, and he has confirmed that he has stopped the plan. Um, for, of the asylum seekers moving into into the um, building. Okay, well, Marina, I've just shown some pictures on the screen now, and these are pictures from inside the units taken by somebody um, that got them to GMA News. I think we can see these are from yesterday, by the way. These are brand new beds wrapped in cellophane, brand new pots and pans, brand new quilts. We have a video outside again from yesterday of a container being unloaded and what appears to be duvets, lots and lots of container full of duvets being ferried into, there we can see it there, duvets being ferried out of a container um, into the unit. This was just yesterday. Marina, does this look to you like a development that's been stopped? Um, it, it looks like it looks like I don't know what's happening there. I, I mean, I'd like to understand that a little bit further. Um, but we well, have I can explain, no, I can explain to you now that, that, as I said, that was bedding and duvets being unpacked yesterday and ta mm -hmm. being taken into the block mm -hmm. by workers, um, which looks to me and to the locals who I'm in contact with as we speak, they believe that the fitting out of these apartments for clearly for single occupancy, single beds, is continuing. I'll put it to you again. Does this look like a development that stopped or is it continuing apace? Um, but nothing we have heard indicates that the programme has been reactivated. Um, we're, we're very grateful to the Home Secretary for stopping the plan. Um, and the MP Leo Doherty would be pleased to update you, I'm sure. Yeah, because um, the word that was used before was that the plan had been paused. Um, and it was paused. It was paused for a couple of weeks. But as we can see now, again, images that we were taken less than half an hour ago from the site, Marina. This is a container being loaded onto a flatbed truck. Um, this is either being taken away because the site is over with or it's been taken away to be replaced by another one. So I just want to try and get confirmation from you that, um, for example, can you say that no asylum seekers will be ever moving into this block? Well, to be honest, I'd like to pop down there and have a chat with them to find out what is going on, because um, as far as I'm concerned, the Home Secretary has stopped the plan. Um, so I think, uh, and I'm really, really grateful for him to do, for doing this. I'm sure all our residents are. Um, so uh, I, I need to pop down there and have a chat and see what's going on. Um, our MP, Leo Doherty, would also have a, be able to update you on the situation far better than I, because he has direct contact with the Home Secretary. He has been lobbying, ha lobbying hard uh, with him, and we're very grateful for the Home Secretary's intervention in stopping the plan. Yeah, I appreciate you coming on the show, Marina, and please don't um, think I'm being robust in my questioning. I'm simply asking on behalf of many, many locals that I've been very closely in touch with this past month, and, and they, they, they just want concrete black or white confirmation of what's happening. So things being paused, things being stopped, that, that doesn't necessarily say that this won't ever go ahead. They, they do feel this has been kind of kicked down the road, the can has been kicked down the road, and after a couple of weeks it starts up again. And so you can understand their very real frustrations. 
uh, yeah, I, I live in Farnborough too, so I, I totally understand how our residents are feeling. Um, that's why I'm very grateful for you to to allow me this moment to have this conversation with you, um, to let you know that the plan has been um, stopped by the Home Secretary. Um, and, and are they still, are they, the fixtures you're showing at the moment, are those people picketing at the moment outside the, the building or are they historical? No, so they were they were they were from two weekends ago. But um, I have been told that a protest will happen this Saturday. And that is because the locals, again, they don't necessarily believe that when they're told it's been stopped, it's been absolutely and utterly completely stopped. They feel it's being paused. Um, the shots I've been putting on the screen there were from today and yesterday showing of activity outside the blocks. But look, Marina Monroe. Let's leave it there and hopefully we can conclude that this has been stopped, but it's a show, it's a subject we will keep a close eye on. And I really do appreciate you for joining us on the show today. Thank you very much.